Welcome to our headlines, I'm Lun Saliu. Thank you for joining us. Located on the southernmost part of New York, Staten Island is the least populated of the city's five boroughs. Volunteers of the city New York chapter have had a destiny with the remote island that started in 1991. For the past 17 years, three hairdressers have been visiting the N. Eric Center for mentally and disabled people on Staten Island to give free haircuts and clean shaves to the residents. Going once every three months, they have not missed a single service throughout all these years. According to the weather forecast, the first snowstorm in New York is fast approaching. Volunteers refuse to change their schedule and are unwilling to miss their appointment because they know there are people waiting on the island. It is more important than any other appointment. <laughs> We know they're waiting for us during the haircut each time. They'd ask us when we'll come next time. It makes me happy coming here, like seeing my mother. They wait and they, they know that you're going to come and give haircuts. And they're so excited that they won't get their haircut anyway before they see you. The weather is terrible. And you guys have come all the way from Queens to do this wonderful show and the residents are so thrilled and they never ever cancel they're always here wonderful that is truly love that's what love is all about Wang Yugui, Jian Bixia and Yuan Youqin are all hairdressers with 30 years of experience their professional skill has given them more than a means to make money it's been more than a decade we have worked together since 1991 we've never been apart when we come here, it's like an outing for us. Very happy. We have been doing it for 17 years. We don't leave because these poor people need us more. For the hairdressers, the residents of Ann Eric Center on Staten Island are friends, but even more like family. Thank you, you are so kind. God bless you. Next time you come, I will help out. Under the skillful expertise lies a heart ever so soft. Wang Yugui's eyes moisten as she recalls their 17 years of service here. Seeing their hair and beards untrimmed for a long time and so dirty, I had a feeling in my heart I couldn't describe. Really, when we first came, we even gave them shampoo, scalp solution, medications and taught them how to use them. Most of the residents at An Eric Center are physically or mentally disabled. The three faithful hairdressers and joyful Tsuji volunteers have long become part of their life. And every time they come, they make the residents happy. They always come with a good heart. And they just, their, their, their whole feeling is so wonderful when they walk in the building. And the residents just smile and brighten up. And it's a beautiful thing. The snowstorm has arrived, but volunteers insist on finishing their job. I want everyone to go home though now because they're here too long, it's bad weather, I want them to be safe. They're so wonderful, they don't even want to leave. Yes. But I told me, you have to go home now, I want you to be safe. The volunteers are unwilling to leave because they cherish the short time they have together. The wait until the next time calls for trust and support. The responsibility isn't heavy, but the sweet burden that the volunteers are willing to carry on their shoulders lasts for a lifetime.